back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life and today I'm going to share with you my top baby and toddler or preschooler essentials for the beach and the pool time. So I have clothing, I have toys, I have essential things that me and my family need to pack with us or bring with us whenever we have an adventure on the beach or the pool. So I compiled up my list and I'm excited to share these products with you. Everything I talk about will be linked down below for you guys to shop if you're interested. I do make a small commission if you click through the links. So without further ado, let's get into this. First is our beach baby dome. So this is perfect for small little ones that that aren't, I would say, to the mobile phase yet, that are a little bit more small. This is perfect to have your little one take a nap in there. There is some mesh siding to it, so the breeze from the ocean air gets through. Doesn't get too hot. It has a nice little canopy on top. What I also like most about it is I can clip a baby fan onto it. So I have two different kinds of baby fans. I have this one that has like three legs and then I also have this one. This one's really helpful because it's a giant clip. Clip it onto the fan so they get extra breeze that way. What's also really nice about the Beach Baby Dome is it is super easy to clean. I get the sand out of it. Really easy to fold up and carry it to and from the beach. You can even use this in your backyard. She is going into nine months and getting kind of mobile, so she doesn't like to stay in that small, confined space. Another thing you can do is a pack and play, but sometimes when you go onto the beach, you don't want that huge thing. I would just recommend a kind of huge lounge towel. So this one is from Lily Pulitzer, and it is a huge, kind of really soft beach blanket towel kind of thing, microfiber, I believe. Let's see. 100% polyester and we really like having this so she has a big wide space to crawl and play on. Another thing you can do that my family did growing up is just get a big flat sheet from a bed. Bring that to the beach with you and that is another kind of good spot that is big like play space for your little ones. The other fan wanted to quickly talk about this is has the three hooks and you can wrap this around poles, wrap this around different kind of chairs, things like that, your stroller. This is a really nice baby fan as well. I use both of these interchangeably. It just kind of depends on how you want to use it. For babies, sunglasses are essential for my little ones. They get sensitive eyes, especially with going to the beach. Two different kinds. I have this a black one right here that we use and then I have this cute pink one that is newer for her this year. So this is Coco Sand is the brand. The other one I believe is a little bit cheaper but this one I couldn't pass up. Why I recommend the kind of strap is so they can't pull it off themselves. They do end up getting used to it and this definitely helps protect their eyes. So I recommend this. I also have these for toddlers or preschoolers. Highly recommend these. My son uses them. Another thing you can do is just pick up sunglasses from like the Target Dollar Spot or Bullseye Playground, I guess is what it's called. Those are really great options too, but for your little itty bitty ones, the ones with the straps work the best. The next thing I wanted to talk about are swim diapers. So a lot of people use the disposable ones and we love those as well. But what I tend to put my little ones in are these from Green Sprout and I believe I have some from iPlay as well. And they have buttons on the side so it's really easy to get them in and out. Super easy to clean, machine washable, and it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. So I use pink and white for her. I use blue and gray and white for my son when he was a baby. The swimsuits that we really like are these. They are long sleeve. This is one piece. They come in a whole bunch of different colors and in two packs. My son used these religiously. I love long sleeve bathing suits for children. So one, you don't have to put so much sunscreen on them and they are a little bit more sun protected and they're just super easy to just get them on all at one time. Now another big point with these in particular and the other ones I'm going to show for girls is they have the zip on the bottom so you don't have to completely take them out of that bathing suit to change their diaper, put on a real diaper, put on a swim diaper. Swim diapers do not hold pee so I like to keep my little ones in a regular diaper until we are ready to submerge ourselves into the water. Then I'll switch them to a swim diaper or if they have an accident, things like that. 
So having like a button or a zipper on the bottom for easy diaper change is essential. For Madeline, my daughter, I did get some from Ruffle Butts and Ruffle Butts is like the cutest site ever for little girls. So I picked up two really cute bathing suits here. This one is kind of roses and has the ruffle butt design. Again, it has the buttons for the bottoms, the big zipper along the back, and is long sleeve. And then I picked out this one as well, and you can initial or monogram all of their stuff on their site. So I did that with this one, just kind of give it a little bit more feel. And that has the button and the zipper on it. So really like that. For swim hats for little ones, I highly recommend you guys check out these two different kinds. This is from iPlay. Now what I will say about this one is if you were getting them fully submerged wet on their head, this little cap does kind of bend and then kind of flaps into other face. So this one is ideal for our family for when we're having long exposures and their head is not gonna get underwater, I would take it off. But I love it for the back piece of it. This piece covers their neck, so it helps with neck some protection. Also really like that it has the straps to it. And this little piece in the back, you can help make it a little bit more tight or loosen it for your baby's head and highly recommend these, comes in a whole bunch of different sizes. So when I purchased the girl bathing suits, I did get this ruffle butts hat and I have really enjoyed using it. This brim of the hat has a lot of structure to it so it doesn't fall in the face. So when she did get her head a little bit more wet, this held its shape, which was awesome. Super big and thick all the way around her head and then has the tie as well. For shoes for little ones, especially who are playing on the sand or the hot ground and you're out in the afternoon, highly recommend these. Comes in a whole bunch of different styles as well. We had these for my son and then I purchased some girly kind of flower ones for my daughter, but these are super cute, really soft. They are like wet shoes, have a rubber sole bottom to them. So it helps protect their feet if they're walking or touch any hot surfaces like the ground or hot sand sometimes. And highly recommend these. So these are called towel bandits and these are giant rubber bands that you lay your towel on top of your pool chair, strap this over and it helps secure the towel in place. That way when your little one's getting off and on their chair, their towel stays in place, doesn't get crumbled underneath them onto the floor, things like that. We have really enjoyed these for our adult chairs as well. So I wanted to mention them. It comes in a big pack for those who are interested. The next thing I wanted to talk about are our baby floats or flotation devices. This is also for toddler preschoolers as well. Let's start off with babies. I have two that I recommend. This one here is a newer one for us, or I guess both of these are newer. We originally for Jackson had this blow up one that was like a shark. So much air was needed for it and it popped because it was made out of rubber. This one is a little bit more like a cloth plastic material. So it's not as like rubbingness of plastic, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit more smooth to the skin. Has a mesh seat for your little one to sit in versus the plastic that was rubbing against my son's little legs. So highly recommend this. Comes with a sun canopy. This next float is pretty legit. This is what it looks like. It is an anti-tip float. I purchased this for Madeline, especially for when I take the kids into the water by myself if my husband or family or friends isn't with me and I just decide to go. So I got this so it would be a little bit more secure. It would be perfect too if you're going into the water in the ocean with your little one. So this one they can go forward or backward. And this one has the canopy as well. And then we also have this little infant one. This, I believe, is for under 35 pounds. It is like a life vest, and they put their little feet through the straps as well. We use this for Jackson, and it worked out really well. Now Jackson is four years old. He has been taking swim lessons for about a year and a half now, so he isn't always in a flotation device. And when we do, it is the puddle jumpers. So this is just one of the ones that goes around their chest and arms and he floats and swims with that on currently. So I wanted to talk about next our sunscreen and then the toys and other essentials for like the whole family. So sunscreen wise, highly recommend this little trick. So for sunscreen, I get a stick 
face sunscreen. The one we're currently using is from Baby Gannix. This is SPF 50 plus. And then I use a beauty sponge. This is not Beauty Blender brand. Get a giant pack of this from Amazon so I can link that down below for you guys who are interested in that. And I just kind of put the stick all over their face, blend it in with the sponge. Really good to get around their eyes and nose too with the little pointy end. So I've been doing that. We've been using the Baby Gannix SPF 50. This is the mineral sunscreen for my daughter. We use this on my son too as well for the first layer. And then we'll use like a Neutrogena like mineral spray or some kind of spray for him that way and that's kind of the sunscreen we've been doing for our kids lately. The next thing I wanted to talk about are these wet bags. So these are from Bumpkins. I also have another one that I believe is from Skip Hop but I love that you have their dry clothes in this drying contains and then I switch it out with their wet clothes. So their wet clothes and bathing suits things like that can fit in here. I've also fit a kid's beach pool towel in here as well so these do a great job. I like that they have the button strap so you can strap it to your stroller, your diaper bag, things like that so highly recommend that. We have this toddler or kid size beach chair that we use for Jackson. I have used for a couple years. It has a little canopy over it, can fold into itself. I love this thing. My son loves it. He calls it his beach chair. It has a cup holder, things like that. Works amazing. Highly recommend it if you have, I would say, a kindergartner or smaller. Once they reach that kindergarten like height and weight, they probably could just go to an adult chair or one of those like bigger kid chairs. But this works perfect for that, I would say, one and a half to five year old range. The other thing that is a huge hit at the beach is our Batat or Btat. Um, dump truck. So this thing is huge and my son loves to push water back and forth, fill it up with seashells, things like that. We also play with it around the house here. We do a sand. We can drive it around and pick up pine cone sticks, leaves in the fall time, you name it. Such a great hit for an outdoor toy, so I will link that up. I've also done, if you haven't followed me long here on my channel, I've done an outdoor toys video. I will link that up above if you're interested in some of the outdoor toys, not just beach essentials for your little ones. So that will be up in the card. The other thing too is this beach backpack. It's like a backpack toy. It's all mesh so the sand and water comes out and it has all of the beach essential toys you need. So I love this because my son can wear it as a little backpack and go to and from the beach and carry his own beach toys. So this is really great. I also got a BTAT like bag, beach toy bag this year as well from Target. So it looks like this. I haven't opened it and played with all the toys yet. We're going to take it to our beach trip in August. So I'll share with you guys how we like that. But I just wanted to mention we did get that new addition this year. And then a couple of things that are necessities for me and my family when we go to the beach is our Tommy Bahama beach chairs. Highly recommend these. They also come in a two pack for the adults or you can use them. We'll probably end up getting them for Jackson instead of the like upgraded kid version. We'll probably just upgrade them straight to the same beach chair as us. But it has two pouches, one that is dry and one that is a cooler. It has cup holders, side bags, things like that. So we love those. We also have a Tommy Bahama kind of beach umbrella that we highly recommend and always bring to the beach with us. And then we typically, we have all different kinds of coolers, but what we recommend, especially for like the quick trips with the kids to the beach, is a beach backpack cooler. He has an NC State one. He is an NC State grad. So we love that because you just fill it up with ice. Coolers are normally one of the heaviest parts of when you bring things out to the beach, and that is the one we recommend. There's also this Yeti version backpack as well that my husband has his eye on. Maybe for Christmas, birthday this year, we will get it for him. And then the last little things are little toys for Madeline that I tend to bring to the pool and the beach. This is a pack of little boats. All different kind of shapes have different kind of holes on the top, different colors. And then this we just got this year. It is a pack of four different kind of cars. Perfect for any gender, Madeline included. But she has enjoyed playing with this. It's perfect for sand too because it is 
big tires and it can kind of get through the sand, water, what have you. So we have really enjoyed this as well. But those are my favorite beach and pool essentials for my little ones. Let me know if you have any different toys or essentials that you bring with you to the beach and pool in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. You can ride out of the blue. I want to do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday. I'll be